themselves. Because of course, market's getting tougher. Sellers eventually will adjust their expectations. The markets will eventually change. Uh, prices will eventually come down as we go into this recession. I know I'm being very bold here and I'm okay with that. And you can agree or disagree. That's completely up to you. I just really want to walk you the thought process. And rates going to go up one more time while the value is kind of unsure. And the other thing is nobody's got a crystal ball. We don't know how many more rate hikes are going to happen. And so here is the thing. Why real estate? If all the challenges are in front of us, why are we still choosing real estate? Okay. So at the end, I will share with you some of the content that I've also created and it's all education based and it's all just content. So you can go and take a look at it. However, one of the first things I want you to really draw down here is I want you to really separate investing versus real estate. Real estate is the vehicle that we are using because so many of us, we can go and do a startup. We can invest in Bitcoins, crypto. We can invest in a new brand new business. We can buy a franchise. We can go into even a direct marketing type of business. It doesn't matter why real estate because real estate is our preferred vehicle. Okay. First thing first. And we are training to become investors. What that means is investing by definition is learning how money works learning how money works so with that said i'm going to share with you the two biggest main priorities the main priorities that we look for as investors so it doesn't matter which market you go into or what kind of economic conditions you're going into first thing first we are looking for cash flow Again, I don't know how many people here went to business school like I did. I really feel like business school, I just learned to become an employer, <laughs> an employee. And so first thing first though, if you did go to business school, they will teach you revenue minus expenses equals profit. And we know when it comes to real estate, sometimes the calculations is a lot more complicated than that. However, at the end of the day, after all is said and done, nobody wants to acquire a cash flowing negative business. And so priority number one, this is what we call it, is cash flow. Cash flow, cash flow means at the end of every month, are you making money? Are you in the clear? Okay. Number two is what we call return on investment or cash on cash. The definitions are actually quite different. However, in the interest of time, I just want to put down return on investment because I think that is a term that most of us can actually understand. Like I said, I will share some uh, additional resources later too. These are the two top priorities. However, I do want to stress this because I get students asking this all the time. And as a student before, I asked my mentor that too, is, oh my God, it is so hard to find a deal that will check off both boxes. It seems like there is an inverse relationship between cash flow and cash on cash return or return on investment. And that is the true nature of the beast. And this is also why it is so important for all of us to understand why we are investing in the first place. Now, I always like to say this. I'm not one of those, you know, trainers, coaches, mentors that tells people that you have to walk away from your job. You have to fire your own boss. I mean, I wanted to fire my own boss because I didn't like the politics that was happening. <laughs> However, I never got the opportunity to, even though I declared financial freedom because I was actually laid off, which was sort of the best of both worlds looking back now. However, the point here though, is that when you are looking at every single property, and I think Mikel touched on this point earlier too, is that you have to treat every single property, every single property like a business. More importantly, like a viable business. A viable business means that you need to be able to know that it's either going to cash flow from day one, depending on a strategy, or you know that after you've gone through the burr process, it is going to cash flow, meaning you already know that this is going to be a proper asset for you. And that also goes comes back to if we were to call this lesson number two, lesson number 2.1 definitely is the definition between asset versus liability. I got that on 
lot going on. Liability. Okay, there we go. If it's not producing the profit that you need, obviously it's not a viable business, meaning it's a liability. Okay. And so this, I hope is really, really straightforward. I'm just setting down the foundation. Now, a couple of things that I think I really want to share with everyone tonight, though, is, okay, how do you make offers? How do you make offers in a situation like this, in a, in a time like this? And one of the first things that first things that I actually learned from my early mentors is this, be embarrassed. Right now, if you're not embarrassed, if you're not embarrassed by the offers that you're putting out there, you're likely leaving money on the table for your deal. And why is that so important to understand? I'm going to flip that around. 